Hi there, welcome to your weekly werewolf report in this, the year of the werewolf. How you doing today? I just want to give a quick disclaimer. If I seem a little low energy, I'm fine. It's just my own cycle is now on its full moon, if you know what I mean. So your girl needs a nap. So we're going to get through this. I have some stuff to talk about and then I'm going to go wash my face, put my hair up in a scrunchie and nap. And that's going to be the rest of my evening. <laughs> So, yes, I actually have a book and two movies to talk about. I want to say up front, though, that it's been kind of a middling week. You know, nothing nothing completely blew my hair back. The earth did not shake for me this week. But it was all good enough to recommend and want to talk about. With the caveat that you remember, remember this about me, I'm easy. Okay, just remember that. So, first on the roster. You know what? I just plum forgot about what the hell the name of the book is because it's one of those kind of standard ones. I'm very sorry. Oh, yes. The book is um, called Leaders of the Pack and it's an anthology and just real quick. Hey, I just want to pop in here really quick to talk about the cover of this book that I'm talking about this week. Um, first of all, great cover, but I keep looking at it, and I have to tell you, I'm kind of obsessed with this little butt nubby tail. <laughs> <laughs> had to do it. <laughs> I, I stared at that cover for a week, and I had to point it out. But as anthologies go, this one was okay. Um, and... and for reasons that are completely personal to me. There's nothing wrong with any of these stories. Some of these stories were outstanding, actually. The thing with anthologies is they change in temperature, you know, and that's a nice thing. That's something I actually really like about anthologies is you can go from a really high intensity, high energy story to one that's a little more in your head, a little more psychological, a little slower. And it's always kind of a, a a ride reading an anthology. And that was the case with this one, certainly. It's just, if you've been doing The Year of the Werewolf with me this year, you know that I'm not super into the werewolf as a civilization, as a society thing. I prefer my werewolves to be straight up berserker monsters. And there was a lot of the society thing going on in this. And obviously, I... I'm in the minority for not loving that because enough people write about it that it must be something people love. Um, there were good stories in this. Uh, on Goodreads, I gave this three stars, three out of five stars, where in my mind, three stars is not bad. I enjoyed the time I spent with this book. Would I reread it? No. But if you are a werewolf fan and you're looking for a book, this is absolutely one that I think you would enjoy reading and going through. There are some good takes in this. So yeah, uh, Leaders of the Pack, nice anthology. As for the movies, um, you know, I was doing other things. I was doing things with my hands. So I was kind of like 25% of my brain was occupied with that. And then 75% of my brain, I was with the movies. And I liked them. I didn't love them. And the first one I'm going to talk about in particular, it's called Wolf. Um, I know that's already been taken. This movie was made in 2022. And I was into it until the end. I, I think if we changed the pacing and moved the end to when they get to the wall, it would have made a little more sense to me. It would have been more satisfying. But what this movie is about, um, it takes place back when the Romans inhabited Britannia and they are usually seated on the wall. <laughs> we know what wall, part of it still stands. Um, What's, what's going on is they're a search party. They're, a, they're Roman soldiers and they're a search party. And they're looking for people who were meeting with an enemy king and they disappeared. And during the search, of course, they encounter werewolves. Now, this is a lower budget movie and I, I've seen this before where they don't have the budget to do a, a full on creature. 
And what we end up with are basically naked men with teeth. That's what we get. Which I, I would prefer you at least try. <laughs> Just try. I, I've seen full-on Halloween masks from like Target in some of these movies. Just try. But I get it. I get the low budget. I understand. And I mean, the fact of the matter is, is I enjoyed this movie. I, the ending was very abrupt and it ended in a weird place. So that kind of, I was like, what? Why'd you do that? Why did you end there? But while it was on, I, I liked the characters. I actually really liked the characters. Um, good actors. It, it, I don't know. It was a weird take, but I liked it. At, weird aside, in um, the anthology Leaders of the Pack, there's a story in there about a Roman soldier in the British Isles uh, with werewolves. So that's a thing. That's a thing I was not previously aware of, but cool. <laughs> And the second movie is called Blood Moon. And these are both on Tubi, of course. But this one is like cowboy. Cowboy. West, Wild West and werewolves. And this one actually had a monster, monster werewolf. And, you know, for a low budget, it looked great. I'm very happy with it. It's gigantic. It's a huge werewolf. Um, it delves a little more into Native American lore. And... I liked the characters in it. This one is another one. I, 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 I think this is three movies so far that I've watched this year that are made by like the same group of people. One of them I've talked about on here before because I'm still just mystified by how delighted I was by that movie. Um, Werewolf of England. I, I put up the thing here. Um, a lot of the same people in this one. And this one... Again, the way it ended, I was like, I, I, I understand the endings are hard, but and not the most, I don't know where it ended in storytelling style. Like we had our ending, of course, but, and if you watch it, you know what I mean. If you ever watch a monster movie, you know what I mean. Um, the good guys prevail. It was weird where it ended, but you know, with 25% of my brain occupied with something else and watching this, it was good. There was good banter between the characters. Um, we have our human bad guys in this and, you know, they get their comeuppance. I, I just, there were good characters. I enjoyed it. I, I don't, I wouldn't rewatch either of these, but while they were on, it was a good distraction. I was entertained. I mean, like I said, it's lukewarm. I don't, I'm not, I can't, muster up a lot of enthusiasm for this but while i was with them i had a good time so check them out if you want um that's gonna be it for me i hope i hope i find something that kind of blows my hair back um thank you to those of you who have been recommending books to me i recently put it on amazon order and i have a fresh stock of books to check out so hopefully I find some good stuff I can recommend to you next week. So that'll be it. And I will see you next week, hopefully in much better spirits. So bye.